What's happening, my Giga Chats? Coming at you with an emergency video because today we got news on GK6 Trailer 2. We're also getting new gameplay reveals that I will be showing you in this video. We also have the FBI trying to arrest the gamers, the toxic and problematic gamers. Yeah, that story is legit. We're gonna get right into the story. Andrew Ted getting arrested. We got a lot to go over, guys. Please like this video if you love hearing all the news in one place. Maybe we're gonna bring the series back like the good old days, okay? But guys, clench your butt cheeks, hide your kids, hide your wives, okay? Because the story actually is kind of wild, all right? We're hearing that the feds are coming for extremist gamers. The, yeah, the Department of Homeland Security and FBI are in dialogue with Roblox, Discord, Reddit, and others. Now, if you are using like these services, you better watch out, okay? Maybe you're gonna get rq out of nowhere, and maybe the, the, the next thing is that, hey, you got prison for memes. Imagine, imagine, imagine you and your homies, right? You're playing games, communicating through Discord, and you say something edgy. Just to be funny, right? Because don't people try to be edgy with their with their friends when they're playing games and they throw memes out there? You can be on the watch list right now. So this is why I'm saying you better watch out, guys. Hide your puppers, man. Put your puppers on a leash as well. I definitely want to know your thoughts on the story because the story is absolutely wild. We're talking about Homeland Security, guys. We're talking FBI, Sleepy Joe. You need to give free online for PlayStation and Xbox. Like the video if you agree. But instead of that, apparently we ended up getting some new gameplay for Grey Zone Warfare. This is the game. We ended up getting 23 minutes of new and exclusive gameplay. And Sigas are saying, that bruh like uh, we're hearing frogs in this gameplay bruh. and the frogs are louder than the actual guns and i was looking at it and i was like okay well that's uh, that's kind of true and <laughs> it really is true frogs were really louder than <laughs> the actual gun sounds and uh, objectively speaking graphics not too bad it's looking kind of all right i mean it's all right uh gameplay kind of all right as well it's not really bussing uh, sickers did not get hit in the g-spot a lot of people are saying in the comments i'm not impressed this and that so people are dogging on it uh some are saying well it looks good but it's just that i, I don't see it lasting i want to know what you think i want to see how a giga chat like you is but on the next one guys andrew tate and tristan tate have been arrested once again by romanian authorities under oh, uk shit. warrant oh, yeah apparently these guys got arrested once again and brother was caught smiling as well and says that hard to kill so they they are getting uh, they, they got arrested once again uh, and apparently they do not have any proof that's kind of like what we're hearing in the story they were arrested i believe last year as well or a year and a half ago and he was uh, under captivity for uh, approximately 400 plus days which is absolutely wild and at the end of the day they didn't find any supporting evidence yeah there was like a voice note but we found out that it was ai so that wasn't substantial evidence i want to know your take whether you like the guy whether you hate the guy obviously he says some things that are objectively good and some things that can be viewed objectively bad we got an update to the story. Andrew Tate's arrest prompted by live streamer who said that Tate was leaving Romania, law firm says, and apparently this happened because of Aiden Ross. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Apparently now these seconds are using streamers as a source <laughs> and because of Aiden Ross, Andrew Tate got arrested. I'm not sure whether that's true or not, but this is what the law firm is saying. This is what they're officially saying. Influencer Aiden Ross said he had one last chance to record content with Andrew Tate. A law firm says that that comment tipped off the UK authorities. <laughs> On the other hand, apparently, a woman is facing a felony charge after she allegedly used a, and I quote, sit down, fasten your seatbelts, a gas pump glitch Bruh. to get $28,000 in free gas <laughs> for her car. What? What are we doing here, dog? Is she literally doing money glitches in real life? I would say, dog, like... <laughs> That's like glitch. That's like glitch in the matrix. You cannot arrest her for, you know, using the glitch in real life. They need to patch that glitch. Like the video if you have so if you agree. But on the next one, guys, like this story is kind of wild, okay? For this one, y'all because might want to sit down because apparently PS5 owners they lose access to hundreds of games as digital purchases wiped from their accounts yay this story has been blowing up but not many people are covering it right now maybe it's just that 
you know it's not getting across their radar maybe they're like eating ice cream maybe they're they're out there doing helicopters with their woolies i'm not sure what's happening okay i i don't know what's going on uh, I, I know some of uh, some of the x uh, xbox andys would be saying yeah 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 these are sony pony skills these are this is why they 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 they, they, they they're not talking about maybe you're right i don't know how would i know right that's all i gotta say i always gotta play that card you know whenever somebody's like uh, you know what i'm saying i gotta be like how would i know but seriously how would i know guys Bruh. but on a real though a strange bug is removing people's games on playstation 4 and 5 and also vita and sony and sony doesn't have a fix though yay the bug is affecting playstation 4 5 and vita and fans are certainly not happy about it at least 50 playstation owners have reported that their digital games are going missing though yay oh, shit, so 50 50 of these suckers ended up getting hit by like another uh a rony situation let's just say this is the rony v for for the playstation let me just put it that way okay and a guy responded by saying that i have been dealing with the same issue for three months and have not been able to get playstation support to help at first they told me it was a hardware issue so i bought a new ps5 what guess what did it did not fix it either now they're back to telling me it's a hardware issue and they have <laughs> they have ghosted me oh you imagine right like imagine you lose access to your games right okay you lost access then you, you have to buy a new PlayStation, right, for maybe $500 plus taxes, maybe a little bit less, right, but give or take, right? Let's just put it 400 maybe you bought it used, or whatever the case may be, but you're still burning Benji's, and money does not grow on trees. So this second ended up buying a new PlayStation, thinking that that would resolve the issue, when the issue was at the Sony HQ. This is why suckers are saying, you're gonna own nothing but be happy. I mean, think about it, right? Like, they can shut the servers down, down just like that and everything that you ever bought whether it's like fortnite skins v bucks Bruh. call of duty points uh maybe you wanted to yeah maybe you wanted to buy a friendly uav online maybe you ended up buying friendly uav and how bad that would be that you bought a friendly uav online skin the bbc bundle for 20 dollars in call of duty and uh, you lose access to that that's like genuinely sad so <laughs> yeah this is why i'm saying guys vote for physical media vote for physical media gamers demand free online gamers demand free games as well uh, if you suckers are gonna have 70 dollars bbc skins or if you're gonna have 20 dollars 30 dollar bundles and skins like and all that bull squash okay not 70 dollars but you know those days are not that far away when we're gonna see like 70 dollars microtransactions i mean in some games they they would be 70 dollars let, let me just be real you probably know one game that actually sells a microtransaction for seventy dollars. Don't tell me those names. I don't want to lose hope for humanity because I already lost it, guys. But on a real though, this story, the following story is a little bit sad. Uh, personally, I'm not into Dragon Ball, but obviously I know about it, and a lot of people love it because uh, th this guy actually brought a lot of people together, man. This was a massive story a couple of days ago because Akira he recently passed away. Now his assistant confirmed that he had a brain tumor. R.I.P. to Akira. A lot of people were affected by this a lot of people were impacted positively by his art respectfully so as well because nowadays you know everything is woke and this is one of the things that that actually catered to a global audience and a lot of people love that you know what i mean so uh, as somebody who's not into dragon ball no disrespect though I, i'm just not right like i never really grew up with that but as somebody who's not even as somebody who's not respect man because he created like a genuine piece of art that a lot of people were impacted by so that that that's uh, that's truly amazing his legacy is gonna live forever i'm not sure if this information was widely known or not prior but now his assistant is coming out and confirming that yeah he had uh, uh he had a brain tumor on the next one guys this story yeah talk about being woke right or before we talk about being woke the gameplay that you're watching in the background Bruh. this is from the upcoming battlefield 2042 season seven so we're getting season seven they had like two new weapons we also are hearing one new map one remake kind of after a couple of months and i read a comment where a guy was saying we're getting one new map two new weapons three new vehicles 
and in the same time we got hundreds of skins Bruh. i mean that's like typical clap up for these suckers out here and mind you those skins are 20 dollars each that tells you where we are at with gaming nowadays imagine you waiting six months for one new web and in the same time space you end up getting like 50 if not hundreds of skins uh the bbc bundles for like 20 dollars and a pop i mean that that couldn't be me but guys speaking of some woke news okay sit down clench your butt cheeks because apparently this is effing insane said legacy killer hd just blatant racism from a dev that works for ea don't care that this is live of tiktok an opinion like this is harmful and should be condemned by ea yesterday i will play you the clip he followed it by saying that i remember when hogwarts legacy dev yeah i also remember uh those of you that have been following the channel we covered that story as well uh hogwarts legacy dev life was torn into pieces because he had lukewarm conservative political view in the past games media slander his name uh called him an alt-right and various uh isms but this dev he uh, she actually went strong independent style i mean listen if you have a conservative take and you're a man and if you're white bro it's over for you okay it is like over how dare you say that i remember like that's like i also had like a youtube channel so they attacked the guy as well they asked for his uh, youtube channel to be shut down but this strong independent lady says uh this roll it i have a team of 21 right now uh for validate it's a pretty big team it's a crazy big team for indie games but who is your team validate has a team of mostly people mostly all people of color. We have no white people on our team. Um, I did that because I wanted to create a safe environment. Yeah, safe and environment. I know the best way for an environment to be safe is to be around people who are just like me. Um, and I'm not saying that white people in the industry are creating safe, unsafe environments. I'm not saying that. That is not what I'm saying. I am saying that sometimes it is hard to work with white people because they think that something made it okay, but it was really a microaggression. Yeah, and no one wants to deal with that while you're trying to make a game that they love. Now imagine, okay? If the roles were reversed, if that was a man, or we've previously seen that, yeah, that Hogwarts Legacy dev didn't even say anything too bad, and uh, he got cancelled, he got cancelled, but apparently they hired her, and she says, that, nah, man, I don't want to work with white people. Wasn't this all about inclusivity, strong independent, sharing the strong independent, and hiring people uh, from all walks of life, but nah, bro, like, uh, th so this situation is now blowing up as well, and a lot of people are talking about it, I want to know your take on this story yeah white people bad yeah that's the trend right now by the way i'm brown personally i'm brown Bruh. okay so guys don't try to cancel me i'm brown so i'm like the hybrid uh version of black and white okay <laughs> i mean blame god okay whatever okay don't blame me man i did not choose the i did not choose the color of my skin bro i i did not even accept birth bruh like they brought me in this world and my parents had to pay for my Bruh. it's crazy right like I, I was born in a government hospital raise your hands if you were born in a government hospital and your parents had to pay for your birth come on man even being born in this world isn't even free dog we paying like our parents gotta pay a micro transaction fee in order for us to be born <laughs> Crazy times to be alive, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but also, this story, it's going viral. Spider-Man, the great web trailer leaked online. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, brothers are now talking about it. This is from the movie, right? Obviously, I cannot show you the leaked trailer. But a lot of people are saying, missed an opportunity to recreate this. Everything that, that looks good or looks decent, they just cancel it, you know what I mean? They're like, okay, well, it's too good. You know, I'm pretty sure deep down at Sony's headquarters, they were like, bro, like this is turning out to be like really, really good, right? Like, uh, if we put this out, people are gonna love it. You know, people are gonna buy it. Uh, 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 and people are genuinely gonna play this. So what should we do right now? We, we should remove it, man. We should, we, we should cancel it. We should cancel it. And uh, everybody's not talking about it. We could have had something beautiful. I believe this is part of the same uh, Wolverine uh, leak. Uh, we, we had the Wolverine demo leak as well recently. Alongside that, employees password information, their BBC, BWC, everything got leaked out, which was not, not good. Venom DLC, yay, everything got leaked out. And now we're hearing about that spider-man the great web it was gonna be real but now apparently it's not also and that he was apparently we're hearing i gotta burp gta 6 trailer 2 
could be on the horizon after a recent update on Rockstar's official website that changed the videos tab from Watch Trailer 1 to videos from GTA 6. Oh, and right now they actually say Trailer 1 and this is like the concept, this is like fan-made version of how it's gonna look like when we end up getting Trailer 2. Some suckers are saying that it was there all the way back when Trailer 1 came out. Some suckers are saying that it's brand new and if it is brand new, well that's a good indicator that we're gonna be getting Trailer 2. Uh, realistically, People are assuming, and I'm assuming as well, that we're gonna hear something around the time of their next investor call, which is gonna be happening in May. I'll surely live stream on the channel, but guys, click on this video on the screen. This recently just happened, and we had a massive cheater, massive streamer that got caught cheating, though. Yeah, click on this video on the screen. On the left, though, this is on my second channel. Yeah, I have a second channel all about conspiracies and UFOs, so definitely check these videos out, and I will see you right there.